Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha HaMashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo and I'm going to do a little technical analysis on the ES1 Mini Futures and um, just just to get a little preparation for tomorrow because um, it's good to have like a plan and you know you can't really predict what the market is going to do but it's good to have some foresight of what it might do. So um, let's jump into this right here. Let me pull out the Epic Pen. All right, let's see. All right, so let's start with the money zone. All right, so let's see what's the setup for the money zone and how price open in the, um, the ETH. So let's see here. So today's money zone is at 4,017 and um the value the money zone value area high is at 4017 the value area low is at 3998.50 right so that's the value area low right here this white line right that's the number right there 3998.50 this is the value area high right there 4017.00 and this is the POC levels right there. The upper POC is at 4007.75. Lower POC is at 4006.00. So as you can see, we have a overlapping higher value. <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday's um, value area high was here. Let's see what number that was. Approximately 4006.50 and the value area low yesterday was 3,988.50 right so we have an overlapping higher value so that's suggesting some bullish activity for tomorrow or today's session which is like in the Asian session session the ETH so um looking at the price opening here well let's let's talk about the pivots first before we go into the the price action on the open right so we have the pivot levels right now it's a higher value relationship so let's see yesterday's um, bottom central pivot was here the pivot was here top central pivot was here so let's see some values for that 4009.75 is the top central pivot. The pivot was 4001.50 and the bottom central pivot was 3993.00. So today's values we have the top central pivot at 4016. The pivot is 4013.75 and the top central pivot I mean the bottom central pivot is 4011.75 so it's a higher value relationship and that's suggesting um, bullish price action right so <clears throat> let's see here see if I could throw on the camera the levels real quick right wait hold on right so the camera levels is um is the overlapping lower value our tree is at 4020 s3 is now at 3999 so that's an overlapping lower value relationship so that's suggesting um some moderately bearish activity so let's see here go back to the money zone All right, let's start with the central pivots because this one is showing it's kind of um it's rejecting this this indicator the most right because that's the thing about these indicators it's a forward it's a leading indicator it's suggesting what price action might do so um when you see price action is rejecting that that um thesis that's also an indication right of of what trade you might take or what direction you might take 
So you see we opened here at um, 4,008.50, which is below the, um, the bottom central pivot. So if we were to open bullish, if, it, if we were um, staying within the thesis, this would open above here and we would, or at least within range of the pivot or above, and look to head higher, right? So it's rejecting that, um, that thesis and it's moving lower, right? <clears throat> now, it's not a strong bullish open, I mean bearish open, because we're still within the price range of um, yesterday's session. So, but we are moving down nicely though. And um, let's see, let's look at the money zone here. Take off the pivots, right? So we opened, we opened um, here, ran through the puck. Now we are the value area low. So this is where you can start to get some, since this is an overlapping higher value, this is where you would start seeing buyers stepping in to push price back up, right? Now, let's see on the bigger time frame here. Looking at, at what I think might happen is that the overnight session, we might get something like... Um, like this reversal coming in here and we could get to the bottom of this kind of this kind of bullish flag kind of consolidation right here so we could move down to I have this marked as this is my longer term VPOC right so I have a VPOC that's probably not a VPOC a volume profile that um, it runs all the way I think to last year May so it kind of covers a lot of price action so this right here is the VPOC of that um of that that volume profile so as you can see we have some price action around here that buyer stepped in around here with these buys right and these support right so what i'm thinking is if we do break the money zone value area low which we at right now we could this is upper viewer band we could get some some um, support right here or we could come down to this level and start getting some support now if we end up around here at the open tomorrow's open we could get buyers coming in here at this 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 value area this v park level right and we could get the push back up into the top of the range or at least back into value so i'm thinking maybe that's 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 a possibility or if we do get um the buyers at the value area low right here we could just end up somewhere close to the to the top or at least regain some of this um price action right here you know so let's see here right so the money zone is in the overlapping higher value relationship and if we do get the support right here then we would probably we probably open tomorrow somewhere around here like if it recovers <clears throat> we would see like some breakout around this area tomorrow right but if not if we do head lower let's see let's see if i can pull this up a little more this is the five minute chart right so you can see it so we do have some space so you can see that right so in the overnight session you don't really get that much movement so for it to come down all this way right here it might be reaching a little bit you know we might end up somewhere around yesterday's value area low start consolidating maybe to to push back up so um i'm thinking i'm not thinking it's gonna be a big sell-off like um like it's gonna just break and not recover tomorrow because we're in a bullish posture anyway, and if we're coming down a wrong where buyers, where VPOC is, we could see support. That'll be heavy selling tonight if it comes down this way. But um, we could see some support around this level at yesterday's value area low. Or even right here and just consolidate and just push off from here. So we'll see what it is tomorrow morning. And that's that's my little technical analysis, man. You know, just just being prepared for what might happen, and also looking at the U.S. dollar, which is you know very imp important when you kind of considering what the stock market and futures is gonna do. Looking at it here, 
Well, buyers are definitely, I mean, sellers are definitely in control. This is the VPOC right here. That's VWAP. And we even below lower VWAP right now. We tested that, rejected, and we're still moving lower. Now you can see we have some support coming in. Right, we got some support coming in right now, but that could be very short lived in the Asian and overnight session and the London session. So let's see. What am I thinking this might do? We might we might get a push. We might get a push up now. Up to maybe test this the break of this level right here. Right? Cause that was a little consolidation area. Broke that area right here. Then we came down, we might get a retest of that and then maybe like push down again, you know, to get back to the lows. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking the stock market is going to be bullish, you know, earnings coming in and stuff like that. So this is definitely in a downtrend and I think it will just continue, you know. So overnight we might get like a retest and it might just fail again, like reject off of the retest here of this breakout level and head down. If not then it continues to go down and that'll have the futures having the support at the value area low levels and the futures will be moving up overnight and you might get that breakout during the day so it'll be totally like a trend day or a bullish day at least yeah and that's my little technical analysis analysis just being prepared for tomorrow you know what i'm saying i'm gonna start doing some of these videos as well um <clears throat> You can share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. And, um, you know, thoughts is always welcome, man. You see, we're even getting support right here at this level. These these levels right here, we're even getting some support right now at the value area low, which is a moderately bullish kind of setup right now with the overlapping higher values. So who knows? We could get a push up and by tomorrow, like if the US dollar keeps failing overnight, by tomorrow we up here and get the breakout of the value area high and try and attack some of these highs of today. Yeah, so leave your comments. Let me know. Send me some DMs on Twitter. I think I think my Twitter is linked. I'm going to put my Twitter in the description. And you know, let's exchange ideas. Let me know what you all think. All right, you all. It's Malak Shalomo, a.k.a. King Solomon. And you all trade safe and stay blessed.